string of tornadoes cut a path of destruction across parts of Ohio and Indiana overnight. The twisters, including one packing winds of up to 140 miles per hour, flattened entire neighborhoods, killing at least one person and injuring 130 others. In western Ohio, the light of day revealed the devastation left by tornadoes hours earlier. Oh, my God. Around midnight, a line of twisters tore through Indiana and Ohio. Our house is gone. A tornado just hit our house. Those who witnessed it described a deafening noise as the storms hit. Within five, ten seconds, it goes from dead quiet to a jet engine taking off. It's the loudest noise I've ever heard. More than 50 tornadoes are reported to have touched down across eight states in the Midwest Monday night. The area around Dayton, Ohio, was among the worst hit. Local officials there are still assessing the damage. We do not yet know the full extent of the damage as crews are still working to reach affected areas. But we do know that the damage was significant and that many citizens and folks are still without basic services. In Vandalia, Ohio, just north of Dayton, Francis Dutmers and his wife hid in their basement. So I just got down on all fours and put, covered my head with my hands, and uh, it blew out uh, most of the windows. You could just feel the wind gusting through the house. He said their house had minimal damage. Others across the region were not so lucky. In some places, rows of homes were raised to their foundations. In others, powerful winds ripped roofs off of homes and uprooted trees. Emergency officials are going door to door, but urged residents to check on each other. One thing I must ask everybody is look, look out for your neighbors. If you haven't seen somebody that you know, please give us a call at 911. In industrial areas, delivery trucks were knocked over and warehouses and businesses were destroyed. Officials said millions are without power and that restoration will be a multi-day effort. Monday's storms come just days after deadly tornadoes hit Oklahoma. Oklahoma and Arkansas are both experiencing severe flooding as the Arkansas River level rises. The flooding is expected to get worse in coming days. Back in Washington, a nine. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And as always, I say before all my shows, I pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that those of the hopeful elect, all right, that you be edified, all right, by these lessons and shows. And the word edify means to build. So hopefully you build upon your faith toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, now you saw the video. You know, basically this is PBS News. This was, uh, you know, published today, May 28th, 2019. And there was a great tempest that went on in Ohio. All right. And they said Oklahoma hit with, you know, a lot of rain, floods, you know. And uh, I wanted to bring this to attention because, you know, you see Esau, you know, you seeing how humble he is. You know, when the Most High, Yahweh, all right, when he bring forth, you know, uh, when he bring forth his instruments, you know, to... Uh, to bring forth destruction and wrath upon his land, you know, you have to recognize the most high. All right. He look, look, you see these homes, he took away their homes, he took away their, their things that they possess. You know, he he basically uncovered their skirts, man. You know, you see homes, you know, within this video where the whole roof is missing. You know, and you can look right in their bedroom, man. All right. But this is the work of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. But here it is, Esau, they never speak of the Most High when the Lord do these things. And this is nothing, you know, this is nothing compared to when the Lord is going to ultimately, utterly destroy 
this land called North America. All right. This is the same land in which you Edomites raped, robbed, and you stole. All right. From the native and Seminole Indians, which is Gad and Reuben, the two tribes of Israel. All right. You also, you brought us um, Negroes, West Indians, Haitians. All right. Upon this land. All right. You brought the Israelites here and you slaved us. All right. So I'm just bringing this attention. I know these things happen every year, but guess what? We're in a year of Karagma, all right, as Elder Apostle to Hard Coin this year, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But this is also judgment, man, because the Lord is always at work, man. And uh, I got a quick precept. Let me see something real quick. Let me get this precept. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. All right, here we go. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus, which is, which is which is in the Apocrypha. Better yet, also known as Sirach. All right, Sirach. Sirach, excuse me. Um, Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. It says, there, are, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. You hear that? So these are angels, spirits that the Most High created just for vengeance. All right. So when you see great winds and storms and and um, t great tempests, you know, great earthquakes, um, you uh, great uh, sandstorms, um, what you call floods. Uh, I believe I said that. Tornadoes, these these be the spirits that the Most High, all right, have put to work to bring these instruments, these things upon you, man. All right, so it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, meaning they get down. All right, they they get they they get down. Okay, they get they they. Excuse me, I can't even speak. <laughs> You know, but anyway, it says in a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So they appease the most high, man. Now, verse 29, it says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So what you just saw, you just saw great tornadoes flooding. I don't know if anybody died. But those are the instruments of death, all right, that the most high place upon men and especially wicked men, all right? And, and I know, you know, you may not look at this as something extreme, but it is extreme because this is the time when you're supposed to acknowledge Yahweh, all right? He is and he to be the almighty power, man, and his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. So this is the work of the most high, man. Look at that. That's the work of the most high. You know? Let me, uh, another scripture coming in mind. Let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, this is, uh, is it Malachi? Yeah, this is Malachi chapter one and one. It says the burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, say of the Lord, yet ye say wherein hast thou loved us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So here in the scripture, it shows you who the Lord loves and who the Lord hates. And I'll read again. Verse 2. And I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Because Jacob... You know, today, you know, we'll say, well, you know, looking at our people, two thirds, they'll say, you know, how, how, Lord, have you loved us? You know, look at us. 
We're servants. All right. We're slaves right now. Then it says, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse four, whereas Edom say we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right. And this ultimately happened, you know, when Esau came back into power. All right. Through the, you know, time of the Renaissance and you had the, uh, the uh, Borgia family that came into play. You know, you had these Edomites basically rebuilt. But what the Lord said, he said, whereas Edom say, we are in province, but I will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So you see the Lord is about taking you down, Esau. And it's going to come a time soon. All right. When his, when the time is right, when the prophecies are, are, are fulfilled. All right. He's going to take you down. Everything that you built here in America, your homes, your, you know, your companies, your, you know, everything that your foundation is, you know, this, this system that you have set up for us to the so-called, let's say the mind, what you call minorities, you set this system up for us to fail. You got cops killing Jake's every day, man. All right. You pushing our community to drugs, guns. And now you got our people twisted, man. Look at their mindset, their ideology of how they think. Jake is finished, man. You know, and then Esau say, I didn't do it. Look at y'all. You guys are doing it to yourselves. No, nah, it's, it's, it's your doings, man. All right. Yeah, it, we take blame as well. Because why? We suffering the sins that we committed against our father. So the Lord placed these curses there. But you forward our affliction, man. Okay. It says, whereas Edom say, we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And that's another name for you Edomites, you know, sort of like a nickname, the border of wickedness. All right. Because you are the sons of the wicked. All you do is rape, rob and murder. You are the sons of perdition. It says the border of wickedness and the people notice he's talking about a people. He's talking about the nation of Esau because who is Esau today? You so-called white people. All right. The ones that you call yourself from the seat of your father and you call yourself European. In our reality, you're not even European. All right. The cave dwellers. It says the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever, meaning righteous anger towards you, Esau. So, you know, and I grabbed this scripture, it came in mind because, like he said, but I will return and build the desolate places, thus save the Lord of hosts. Then sh uh, they shall build, but I will throw down. And look what the Lord did. Out here in Ohio, man. Bunch of Edomites, man. I don't know Jake out there too, feeling it. But on this little episode here on PBS News, our they showing a bunch of Edomites, man. And look what the Lord did to your homes. You know, what are you going to do now? Now you got to start all over. Now you got to try to build again. But the Lord is going to throw down. You know, ultimately, all right, when the prophecies be fulfilled, when they force this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, when they declare World War III, when we supposed to be going to war, all right, which is a nuclear war or Armageddon, that's all written in the scriptures. And ultimately, this whole land that you call North America is going to be taken down, all right, and never inhabited again. All right, so let me get um another scripture. Let me go to that Isaiah 45. Let's see here. Isaiah 45. And uh, let's start at... um. Let's start at four. Isaiah 45 and four. For Jacob, my servant's sake. And notice right off the bat, who was the Lord's people? Jacob. Who was Jacob turned name changed into? Israel. Who was Israel? The biblical Israel? The Israelites. Who are the Israelites? The 12 tribes, which they were lost 12 tribes. 
but now they have been found. Okay, today they'll be called the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. These are the Lord's people. These are the sons of Jacob. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect. I have even called thee by thy name, Yasha Allah. He prints power. It's Hebrew for Israel. Yasha Allah being the prince of the power. All right. So us Israelites, the sons, all right, of Israel, which are the heads of the tribes. Okay. The heads of the nation. Okay. The sons. We are princes. All right. To the most high. It says, I have called thee by thy name. I have, sur I have surnamed thee. Though thou has not known me, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I, I girded thee, though thou has not known me, right? That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. So the Lord is stating, stating the fact that there's no other power but him. See, the world, starting with Esau, they like to give Satan power. But Satan, we already read about him. He's a part of those spirits that was created for vengeance. That means that he works for the Most High. All right? Satan is an angel underneath the Most High. He is a prince. All right? He's an angel that the Most High created and the Most High still have full authority over, over of. Okay? Right now, if you scoffing, <laughs> may the most high, all right, send Satan upon you, all right? Since you want, you know, since, you know, if you scoff this word, you know, you know, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. May those that hear and understand receive the truth, all right? And like David said, let this, uh, be ta this table be a snare to them. So let this truth be a snare to you, all right? If you're wicked, man. So it says, verse six, they that may know, excuse me, they that may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So you better believe it. That the Lord did this. All right. You better believe it. Let me bring some back. You better believe this. All right. The Lord did this, man. Door to door, but urged residents to check on each other. One thing I must ask everybody is look, look out for your neighbors. If you haven't seen somebody that you know, Please give us a call at 911. In industrial areas, delivery trucks were knocked over and warehouses and businesses were destroyed. Officials said millions are without power and the restoration will be a multi-day effort. Monday. You see it? All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. All right, so all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Call halal la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, now let me grab this scripture. This is Amos chapter three. And um, I start at four. Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have not, if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? 
Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Surely the Lord God, Yahweh, will do nothing but reveal his servants, his secret, excuse me. But he will reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion have roared, who will not fear? The Lord God, Yahweh, have spoken, who can but prophesy? All right. But the point is, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? You know, and that trumpet represents the men of the Lord, the prophets. That's out speaking his truth. You know, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, prophesizing in season and out of season, man. You know, looking forward and being watchmen. Watchmen. All right, looking for the prophecies to be fulfilled. That's the trumpet that's being blown. And it's a trumpet being blown right now, all right, as I prophesize in this moment. You know, this is a sign of the Most High. These things that happen, like tornadoes and, you know, uh, flooding, this is all due through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is for you to recognize who he is and, and to understand the power in which he possess. Okay? You supposed to look up, you know, you Israelites, those of the hopeful elect, you know, that can get that can receive this word. But the rest are blinded, man. And you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, you're gonna bypass this video as it is nothing. You know, you're gonna scoff the video. You're gonna put your emotions on the comment board and how much and, and tell me how much that I'm wrong. All right. But as Ezekiel said. Then you shall know there was a prophet among you. And guess what? There's 144,000 prophets, man. All right. And they're speaking as I speak. All right. There's tons of videos up of this truth. There's tons of videos up of the Lord's prophecies being spoken through the scriptures. The knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding is on a unicorn. It's on the internet. It's here. It's in the streets. All right. One thing the Lord said. When his truth shall go through the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. And you better believe it. We at the end, man. All right. So it says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Because the Lord does this, man. He did this evil. All right. He the one that took down your homes. All right. I want to see you put him in jail. I want to see you put a pull him over and put a gun in his face and tell him and yell in his face, you know, and uh and put handcuffs on him. You can't do anything, man, to the most high. All right? And this is why Yahweh Shai has to return to humble you Edomites. Because you're proud, man. All right, you're very proud. You know, scriptures say, why is dirt and ashes proud? You know? Just just read the spirit. Watch this video. Let's go to PBS News. Here you go. PBS News Hour live show, May 28th, 2019. And look at the video. You know, this Edomite's talking about coming together. Look out for your neighbors. All right. This, that's who's going to truly humble you. You know, you walk proud, proudly in the earth. You know, you strut. You uh, look down upon us. But of course, that's your job, man, because we're slaves right now. All right. We're servants and slaves, you know, but soon when Yahweh shall return, we're going to be the kings and rulers of this earth and we're going to rule over you. You're going to go into slavery. All right. You know, so this is this is uh, uh, beautiful, man. All right. And may the Lord do worse because there is more worse to come. You know, I thought I saw this and I said, Whoo! you know, the Lord, man, this I can imagine, you know, hey, shit. If I was living there and a house tore up, this this is uh uh you know you they lose they lost everything, you know this is losing everything, man. You thought you had your privacy, you thought you had your beautiful home, you had your fancy cars, you got your yard, you got your grass. Cause even now, man, man, I when I when I do when I do my work and I'm out and about, this is what I be meditating on, man. I be looking, be seeing how Esau living, man. And they live totally different than we do, man. You know, they got all access to everything, man. Their children are growing up in comfortability, you know, with Jake here and these 
cities and these schools, they don't even have a, a freaking football field, man. They don't even have grass for recess. But when you go out to these uh these suburbs where these Edomites live at, they got grass for days. You see big old football fields, soccer fields, baseball fields, you know? I mean, not saying that those things is, you know, um, you know, needed as if we need it. Because we're going to have the world, man. But I'm just saying as to how we live now. You know, it's a big difference. We're the poor, ye the rich. All right? But things are going to get reversed, man. So, you know, that's all I got for this. You know, may the Lord hopefully hope this lesson will be edifying, you know. And uh, brothers, we almost out of here, man. You know, may the Lord bring more tempest and storm and flood and flood even more, man. All right? You Edomites, all right? And the wicked. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Awashai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.